Foundry Church, welcome to our favorite place to worship. I'm Bill Ackroff and my wife Holly is my first mate out here today and we are going to go through today's devotions. We're in the wait series and we're in week nine, day three. Today's reading comes from Isaiah 40, 12 through 20. Who has scooped up the ocean into his two hands or measured the sky between his thumbs and little finger? Who has put all the earth's dirt into one of his baskets, weighed each mountain and hill? Who could have told God what to do or taught him his business? What expert would he have gone to for advice? What school would he have attended to learn justice? What God do you suppose might have taught him what he knows or showed him how to, things work? Why the nations are but a drop in the bucket, a mere smudge on a window. Watch them sweep up the islands like so much dust off the floor. There aren't enough trees in Lebanon, nor enough animals in those vast forests to furnish adequate fuel and offerings for his worship. All the nations add up to simply nothing before him, lest nothing is, is more like it, a minus. So who even comes close to being like God? To whom or what can you do to compare him? Some know. God idol, ridiculous. It's made a workshop in a workshop, cast of bronze, given a thin veneer of gold and draped with silver feeds. Or perhaps someone with select fine wood, olive wood say, that won't rot. Then hire a woodcarver to make a, a no God, given special care to its base so it wouldn't tip over. That comes to you from the message today, Isaiah 40, 12 through 20. I have a favorite professor, Dr. Tim Brown. I have learned so much from him and love the sounds of his teaching voice and hearing him say, listen to these words from the book we love. And that scripture flows out of him like a mighty river. Dr. Brown taught me to eat the scripture and let God speak and form me with his word. Waiting is easier when we know Isaiah 40. God has no teacher, yet he holds the ocean in the palms of his hands. Like when you wash your face, do you fill your hands with water? That is how God holds the oceans. The image used by Isaiah are breathtakingly massive and powerful. Why? I believe this text is trying to give us perspective on God and his power to accomplish all that he sets out to do. As you wait, can I invite you to get in an exercise that will train you spiritually? Let the word of God live in you. Study and memorize small bites of scripture and eventually you will have a feast of God's word living in your life. You will easily remember that your waiting is not bigger, longer lasting, or somehow hidden from God's influence and power. You will instinctively trust him to accomplish all that he promises to do in your life. Oh, and he will promise to transform you into the image of Jesus. Isaiah was right when he asked the question, who can fathom the spirit of the Lord? And that's our devotions for today. We miss you all. Can't wait to worship together. Goodbye for now.